Welcome to Creatively Yours. I'm Lisa Pavelka. I'm going to show you how to make fun and funky jewelry that everyone from children and teens to adults will love using sprinkles and magic gloss resin. This sweet treat's incredibly easy to make and it won't give you cavities or add any weight to your hips. I got the idea from a fellow artist, Eleanor McNish. She's very talented and you might want to check out more of her artwork on her website which will be listed after the end of this presentation. Now, there's a couple of ways you can create these. The earrings right here were created with a domed cabochon application of Magic Gloss Resin. And here I left it flat like a panel of just normal glass. So there's a variety of settings in my collection that you can choose from, from pendants to earrings that are a lot of fun to work with. Now for this type of project, you do need a bezel setting to contain the candy seeds. So let's go ahead and show you just how easy it is to make these. Let's put these fun ones back in here. Move these out. Now I've got one of my empty settings here, and you might have seen this in an earlier presentation, but I attached it to a stiff card, or you can use a mirror tile using a rolled out piece of scrap or regular polymer clay which will hold it level and also prevent it, prevent it from slipping off the card. And I'm taking my little candy beads here and you can just pour them into your hand or just drop them in by pinching them. And I knew they were going to go everywhere. That's okay. We'll take care of that later. But you just want to fill in the pan of your settings so that you don't see any of the silver. Now I'm only going to add just a few drops to start with of my Magic Gloss. You can either choose the one ounce bottle or if you work with a lot of it, you might want to check out the six ounce economy size. Now the reason I'm only adding a little for right now is because some of these beads are going to rise to the top, they may float, and I'm going to create um, either a flat finish or the cabochon effect, but I don't want any dimensional texture rising up through the surface. You may choose to put more in and you may like having some texture. That's totally up to you. But either with your needle tool or a toothpick, just spread the Magic Gloss around until it captures each one of the candy beads. But you're going to want to work quickly. Once you get that going, you want to get it under the light as soon as possible, either direct sunlight outdoors or under my 9 or 36 watt UV lamp. Now, Usually you won't see air bubbles with this if there's any at all, and a lot of times I don't even care. But if you want to check for air bubbles, you can remove them by just passing a direct heat source right over the top for two or three seconds. I'm going to use an bu inexpensive butane torch that you can get at most hardware stores or kitchenware stores, and I'm passing the flame over the top very quickly, just one or two seconds. It's that quick. Then we're going to take it, we're going to put it under our UV light. Now I've already gone ahead and prepared my other piece of my earring, my other part of my pair of earrings, and it's already been set, and we're going to add the rest of the Magic Gloss, and I want to show you just how much you can put on, quite a bit. In fact, at this point, the bezel setting isn't even responsible for holding the resin in place. I'm adding just that much. Start with less than you think you need, and spread it around with a toothpick or a needle tool. Cleans up with soap and water. There's no odor, no mixing. It just comes ready to use right out of the bottle. You always add from the center and drag it out to the outer edges. Now working with this product becomes very easy, especially after just a little bit of practice. While it's still possible to overflow, even in a setting, and I do that once in a while myself, even after years of working with the product, you'll find it's easy to clean up. And you can see more about how to troubleshoot with the product in another presentation here on my website. One more quick pass with the butane torch over the top, and that's going to go in the light. And in about five to ten minutes, you'll have a fun, flirty set of these great candy jewelry pieces. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Thanks for watching. And every day, I hope you get further and further along on your creative journey as you explore your inner artist.